The hunting is going well. But as the only one with experience of the ice, Feorg is concerned they may have ventured too far. With bad weather on the way, Beorg is eager to kill more seals before heading home. The only person with experience on the ice is gone. Without him, the young hunters face a difficult decision. Get to the angle again. And I still should be back. It's impossible to continue in the storm. They must return to the ice sheet and make shelter. Using his computer model, Dr. Richard Peltier made another surprising discovery. Because of such an extreme temperature difference between the warm Gulf Stream and the frozen poles, storms in the Ice Age were super storms. Wind speeds would have been 
we expect very much stronger during this glacial time than they are than they are at present temperatures would have been very very much lower they have would have been living in a very hostile environment far out in the Atlantic the young hunters have been caught in a severe ice age storm the violent weather has kept them pinned under their boat for two weeks they've hardly eaten and are half starved and they are concerned about Giard. He has symptoms of a disease well known to sailors, scurvy. The storm may have slowed, but the group is only now about to discover its effects. has crushed the ice flows together. As the summer continues, the ice thins and storms shatter the flow into pieces. The fragments float free, recombine and break apart again as they twist in a giant whirlpool, taking the young hunters with them. This phenomenon still takes place in Arctic regions today. Broken ice flows are at the mercy of currents and especially the wind. But where are they going? The Gulf Stream drives a current that runs west along the edge of the ice. Combined with the violent storm, it has pushed them rapidly away from Europe. Moving at an average four miles per hour, in just three weeks, they have been pushed 2,000 miles. They are two-thirds of the way to America. Lost in a frozen ocean, the young hunter's boat is now a burden. They have no choice but to drag it. Navigating only by the sun, they head south in the hope of finding